Hi there, I'm Mike Hinman, and I have a question for you. Are you the primary breadwinner in your family? And maybe do you struggle a little bit at work? Actually, you want to know what? Forget struggle. I'm not even talking about struggle. Let's say you're the primary breadwinner. Do you just want to make more money? Is that what it is? Do you want that big promotion and that big paycheck that goes along with it? Well, guess what? That's a lot of us, and that's most of us, actually. And that was me as well. Um, I struggled for, for years trying to figure out why I couldn't get my financial situation, you know, up to that next uh, that next level, that new that new plateau. And you know, I was a trader down at the board of trade, and I was one of those guys who ate what he killed uh, type situations. You know, I didn't have a steady government paycheck or anything like that. So, and it, so I, I struggled with this, and I started thinking to myself, you know, well, how do I go out there and make more money? And I I figured out that you know one of the reasons I was being held back was because of my overall health and well-being. So I set out on a mission to, to change that, to see if it would bring me this financial abundance that I was looking at. And of course, I started where everyone starts with you know nutrition and activity, which I was pretty good at that already, but you know I stepped it up a little bit. Um, you know I focused on the downtime, the stress management, I focused on um, you know my mindset beliefs, but there was one other thing that I threw in there that actually helped more than any of those other things helped in the long run and you're never gonna guess this but it happened to do with my relationships in my life and in particular my relationship with my wife so you can probably relate to this I mean I was um, the working father you know uh, my, my wife stayed home take took care of the children I, I viewed my primary job as paying the bills putting food on the table and a roof over the head and that's all I had to do right and, and the wife took care of everything else and as a result I was one of those fathers who um, or husbands I should say who you know I didn't want to come home I wanted to go out drinking after work with the guys be in the golf course you know I, I, I didn't look forward to time with my wife or even my kids so to speak it was more about me and hanging out with the guys and doing what I wanted to do and so you know that had a pretty dramatic effect on my overall health when at the time I had no idea it, it was and so you know when I reflected back on what I did um, how I achieved this greater health and well-being and then the success I had that followed in my life I, I started writing down what made a difference and relationships was at the top and so that's why you know I'm shooting this video right now is to tell you about an upcoming webinar I am hosting and I don't do many webinars I usually leave that to a man to do the public speaking and, and the webinars but but this was an important one to me because it was a real eye-opener and it, it, it was a, it was a game-changer for me in every which way possible um, so I'm going to be presenting this webinar. It's going to be a live event. Um, I'm going to share with you, you know, my overall story, uh, what tools I went looking for in terms of how I changed my relationship. Um, you know, we're going to talk about, um, um, you know, the neuro associations in your brain down to love and, you know, the difference between love and respect, your five love languages, and just how, you know, one person can ultimately make this change. It's not necessarily two people giving it their all to make those changes in the relationships. So I'd, be, I'd love it if you join me on this one. It's going to be a great webinar. I'm going to, you know, like I said, I'm going to give you all the tricks that I use so you can just skip through all the research and, and live in it yourself and go right to what works. And it's going to be a great time. So I look forward to seeing you there.